Hey there my friends, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here, and today I'm going to show you how to play Stray Cat Strut by the Stray Cats. Super amazing, fun song. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to come up with that crazy cool rockabilly tone, and then we're going to talk about this intro lick that I just did, the verse, the chorus, and the bridge. We won't be looking at the solos, we look at those in separate videos, so we'll be looking around links below or the side or what have you for those bits and pieces. Okay, and, uh, and then finally I'll do a fourth video, which will be the whole performance of it. Just be looking for that again in the links or to the side here. Okay, so let's jump in with this lick. Uh, well, actually, I'll tell you what, let's talk about tone here first really quickly, and then we'll jump into this song. Super, super fun tune, by the way. Um, okay, so first off, um, you know, obviously uh, a nice old Gretsch. This is a 6120. That makes a nice uh, start. If you don't have that, uh, then that's okay. You could use like a Tele or a Strat would sound really nice with this or uh, any number of guitars that aren't too powerful in regards to their pickups. Uh, of course, the the bar, the uh, a nice Bigsby is really nice or some sort of tremolo system so that you can get those nice <laughs> sounds that you couldn't get if you didn't have that, okay? Yeah, you could do some vibrato, but it's not the same as it's just a different type of sound. So that's helpful, right? Also, we want to have a nice clean tone. So um, Brian goes into 1959 Basements. I believe that's his uh, preference here. I've got a Fender uh, Blues Junior, and I have it set pretty cleanly. And we just want a real nice clean tone that has maybe just a teeny bit of bite so that... <laughs> edge on it okay and as far as the the slap back we've got a slap back delay on here basically we want it to go pop pop we want it to just get that little one repeat and it's just right after pop pop and i've got a teeny bit of spring reverb on there that's it you don't necessarily need that but i just have it on there naturally on that amp okay so let's dig into this all right, so first off, the tune, if you haven't noticed already, is in the key of C minor. So there's a lot of C minor action happening here. So if you know your music theory, great, because you'll be able to dig into this and be thinking that way. A lot of the blues scale, uh, the Dorian, uh, C, C minor, Dorian, C, uh, blues scale, and then, of course, the chord progression, for the most part, is in C minor. Okay, so the first lick here goes... And so basically what we're doing here is we're doing a double stop. We're sliding from seven to eight. And we're shaking the bar. And then we're going. Okay, so this is frets eight and 10. And then we've got a nice um, augmented chord here. This is a. B augmented, okay, and then finally, this is barring strings two and three at fret six, and then last we've got fret seven on the D string, and fret eight. Together, it's going to go like this. And then a nice slide down. Okay, so that's the intro lick. Now, the verse is very simple, it's very subtle. I've seen Brian play this live, and he usually will tuck his pick into his hand and use his thumb and just kind of play real softly. Uh, you could still use a pick, um, otherwise, you can use the technique where you kind of hide it in your hand like that while you use your thumb. Okay, so after the lick, then we have, these are upstrokes, and the notes are C, A sharp, G sharp, G. Second time around, he's playing octaves, okay? So if you don't know this octave trick here, 
watch my other videos. Just type in Your Guitar Sage Octaves or go to my free course, yourguitarsage.com slash 30, and you can learn all about that kind of stuff. Okay, so. So that's the second time around. And we're basing this off of a C minor. An A sharp 7, a G sharp 7, and a G7. So that's what we're basing these off of. So the first time around, it's just the low notes. Second time, octaves. Third time, he's going to be playing the full chords, and he's doing something like this, like a... So he's hitting a downstroke, and then he's hitting an upstroke, so... That's the third motif that we're doing. And then the fourth motif, once he starts singing, is this just kind of chunk in the chords, like black and long straight cat sitting on a fence. And actually, when he plays this uh, G7 here, he does do a black and long straight cat sitting on a fence. He kind of pushes that. Grab that C minor chord and bring it on down, okay? Now we're taking the same exact chord progression, we're going up a fourth. You don't have to know what that means, I'm gonna show it to you. But basically, you're gonna be at the F now and you're gonna be playing F minor, D sharp major, so it's very close to the same chord progression, C sharp major, and C seven. So it's gonna go uh, straight cast. push to on that last chord, so. Okay, so that last one you're pushing and you're chunking these chords, right? So you're using some right hand muting, which if you need help with that here on YouTube, your guitar stage right hand muting, I'll help you with that. With my tail in the air. From here, um, we've got we've got the uh, we've got the solo. We've got, or I'm sorry, we've got the the verses. We've got the second part of the verse. Now there is another part of this tune. We're not going to go into the solos yet because really, technically, we're we're getting into that area here. But there's this other section I want to show you very quickly, which goes like this. It's basically the part that, that kind of comes down a little bit, and it's like. the solo, before solo two. It's before all that, okay? Now, uh, moving on, again, we're not gonna do the solos yet. Moving on, we're really going now to the end of the song, okay, where the Okay, and all we're doing there is we're going, Based off of the blues scale, which if you don't, if you need help with the blues scale, I have help for you. Go to yourguitarstage.com, get the free ebook. I've got a free book there that will help you, and it's got the blues scales in it and that sort of thing. It's very helpful. Okay, so we're basing this off of C minor blues, and so you're gonna double stop strings one and two. This is at the eighth fret, so you're gonna go. You're gonna bend. right down the scale and then you're walking up and then you're grabbing this which is uh, based off of a C minor 
We got a nine in there, okay, right at the top. So basically what you're gonna do is instead of playing that full C minor chord, you're just gonna play the top of that C minor chord. So from the fourth string down, then you're gonna add your pinky right there at the 10th fret to get that nice nine tone in there. Brian to jump up in the air and then hit that chord there okay you know what to do there all right my friends now that's going to be it as far as this one uh, again uh, solo one solo two will be somewhere in the side or links in the, the description of this video hey if you need help with anything on guitar I'm here to help you hey check out your guitar uh, your guitar stage.com actually the unstoppable guitar system Dot com. The link is also below where I have a whole course on rockabilly and how to learn that and a bunch of other stuff, blues and some great stuff there. So please let me know how I can help. I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those great places. And I love to help folks play guitar. So, And if you haven't already, please check out my free course at yourguitarstage.com slash 30. This is the course that I built for folks all around the world that wanted to learn from me and didn't have the money to, and I built this course for them. And it's a great place to really build your foundation. So yourguitarstage.com slash 30. Make sure you check that out. As always, my friends, be kind to one another. Spay and your animals and be kind to other species. We're not the only, uh, we are not the only species on this world. We need to be kind to one another, including our fellow animals. So please help me in doing that. And uh, don't trust the man. See you. Play your guitar.